Are we at 11 already? We're making 10, 11. <laughs> we're there, guys. It's turn six, but we're making a left, guys. <laughs> this is what we've come here to do today. Hey, sniper, what's up? <laughs> How's your face about to feel? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of guaranteed lead while 33 damage. Well, let's go. Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing an idea I got from Bamboo, uh, who sent in the deck at the end of the stream. This is going to be really fun. This is all-out ramp to Magspresso. Magspresso, of course, is a turn 11 combo. Where you play Magnifying Grass, uh, which gains one sun for one attack for every sun you've made. So this will have 11 attack if you've made 11 sun that turn. And then you play Espresso Fiesta, which gives you a 33 damage combo. You can also play Espresso Fiesta on your Potato Saurus. Really good excuse to run Potato Saurus, which is a card that I have been wanting to run. It's very difficult to remove. Uh, because of its untrickable and also grows every single turn, making it very easy that it's able to destroy something and then hit phase for, you know, 9 or 10 and then again for 9 or 10 with the Espresso. Uh, you can also use that on top of the Cobb Cannon, which is very high value because it will destroy something if played on a team-up. We have the uh, team-ups in this deck. Uh, yeah, we're running, like, all-out ramp, which means we're running, like, a, you know, four more types of ramps. So the Primal Sunflower is going to be able to give you ramp, which means give you more sun. Twin Sunflower will give you two extra. Uh, Sun Earthroom will give you two extra. And we are running Metal Petal Sunflower, card I've really liked in sort of these all-out ramp sort of decks. Uh, which not only, again, if you can play this a turn early, it's 3-4 and will give you even more sun that turn, which is really, really good. I'm running 4 Ice Spore. I think this will be able to combine with some of the, you know, small and medium-sized cards in this deck in order to efficiently remove something. I mean, even, for example, if you're able to uh, play just Twin Sunflower, turn 5 you could play uh, both, like, Ice Spore and catch a mechanic i guess that would be anti-synergetic catch a mechanic would see fewer minions but you can play it together with any of your other ramp cards you can play it let's say if you go sunny or shroom on turn three then uh the next turn you'll have six you're able to play ice spore plus which will destroy anything for two cost plus metal pedal on top metal pedal on top of it. it can be combined with really any of the cards in the stacks so i think it's a good excuse to use this uh let's see how this deck does hope you guys enjoy let's get right into the game we will have time for eight games today and if you think we are gonna win Six out of eight, but yes. Five out of eight's gonna be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry him up. I kind of like the potato saurus too. Not only does it work really well with ramp and with espresso, but it gives you more cards. So you're playing this big six drop and you know you're able to actually get a play. It gives you a free conjures a free route when you play it. <clears throat> so I'll give you a little more steam for the next turn. Uh this looks okay. I don't know if we need ketchup against Rustbolt. This looks fine, man. Two early game card, two early game cards, two latest game cards, I guess. We'll definitely chomp the teacher here. Nice that we start with the chomp against the fast teacher deck. <sighs> Go. Ba 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 ra team. Definitely Twin Sunflower, only dies to Rolling Stone. Too bad. Happy New Year to y'all. This is actually the first stream of 2024. Hey, I am number 200. Thank you, Krim Eldy, for being sub number 200. Hell yeah. Thank you for your 17 months. Uh, so that's cool. We have uh, plenty of options of what to ramp to. I'll probably do the potato source first to maintain the ramp. I'm gonna go from there. Really good card against this very trick based Rust Bolt, you know? Um, this should probably just go here. What, it, what could he even do about this? Bonus attack? Would be a huge two for one. This is worth it if he plays bonus attack, so let's go for it. Got blockbuster. 
I think the Potato Saurus are going to be very strong against this trick based deck. It's not really going to have any answers. That's fine. As long as he doesn't have one more trick to play here, we will win this trade. Do you not have like a healthy trade? That is very sad. Okay, at least it's an even trade. Can we please get away with this? Come on! Okay, at least he's running low in cards. See if we can block the seven. So we lost that trade. Too bad. Thanks, going viral. Ow, ow. Definitely use the heal. I think we're down to like five sun now because we lost our ramp already. So we're in major doo doo right now. Too bad. I mean, I don't know. Should I have Cobb Cannon for this? What am I supposed to do? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I guess we'll try to remove it and see if he doesn't have two tricks, we'll be okay, I guess. I mean, there's nothing, I don't have an answer to this, man. Ice Spore would have been nice, but... I don't, that's guaranteed lethal for him. Quick loss. Do that. Here comes the part of the stream where all the yes voters get super depressed and anxious. Guys, calm down. We're doing good. It's okay. Damn, that was harsh. Uh, should I have used Cobb Cannon to remove the paparazzi there? It's such a big investment for a one-coster, man. What can you do? <sighs> See any more like later. This is good. Goes on height so it doesn't die to acid rain. Dice to nibble though. Wow, he actually saved that. Instead of you went for the nibble and saved this for turn two. Ridiculous. I thought the fact he nibbled instead of using the bats on one meant that he didn't have the bats, but I guess I was wrong. Applying pressure makes our metal pedal usually live this turn. As we play this next turn, we'll have 10. So I think I'm just saving it. I could develop one of these just to absorb his removal here. Kind of messes up his turn if he's going for like teleport supernova guard. I'm going to do it. another one for later. Most of his teleports kind of die for free in lane one now, so that's fine. As long as it doesn't have a nibble on top of that, that's good. We actually have Espresso Fiesta now, which is pretty good. You can't tell you to, you know, he'll have summoning, evaporate obviously doesn't do anything, and acid rain doesn't do anything. I think I'm just gonna drop the bomb right now. This 
has a very good chance of winning. The other play is to just do this. It ain't bad, and it really develops more ramp. Next turn we'll have 10. It's really not a bad espresso fiesta there either. Really not bad at all. This costs six. It's also not really a turn where this wins, because we'll hit this, proc the block, and then we'll do seven. And... I think this is the play. Pretty good. There you go, he had an answer. Rock the block. We'll do three here. We're at ten now. Gark. Honestly, what is this? Teleportation zombie? What is this? Developing mag here is probably the way, right? He's going for the two for one. I think let's just go for lethal this turn, right? Maybe he has a one drop? Well, if he does, we just espresso him next turn and he'll block lane one. And that'll do it. GG! That was scary. <sighs> anyway. We can add to this deck to make it better. I think it's okay. There's Nightcat, man. A known sniper. I like this potato into brainstorm. See what happens? It's got four. <laughs> this guy's ramping to something. <laughs> okay. You steal fest? Yeah, you missed bet. Sorry. This is game three already. Beam me up inside. Uh, I have a good feeling I'm gonna OTK this dude. Cobble. Cool. Just in case. Uh, four and three. Doesn't really matter where, right? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm ramping faster, okay? I win. Teleport what on six for brainstorm? Trickster and one. Okay, now he's digging. Now he's digging for answers. Okay, cuckoo zombie. <laughs> <laughs> a clown! Are we at 11 already? We're making 10, 11. We're there, guys. It's turn 6, but we're making 11, guys. This is what we've come here to do today. Hey, Sniper, what's up? How's your face about to feel? Ah, uh, It's a Lion's Guarantee Lethal 33 damage. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Got him. <sighs> Easy. I think this is going pretty well so far. Pretty good curve, actually. One, two, three. Looks good to me. Going for the backup dancers. If he hits it, it's amazing. If not, it's like game losing. I'm beginning to not believe in the backup dancers play, not gonna lie. Please just don't play like Cyborg. Thank you. We're gonna, since this doesn't really get to five, we're gonna do it like this. He has no lightning bolts. Uh, okay. <laughs> the clock was clutch. <laughs> clutch for a meme. Maybe. Go! I think heights the potato can go on heights, so we have to worry. I can worry about alien news this turn, maybe. Maybe that was stupid. Yeah, that should have gone on ground. Oh well. Alright, at least it wasn't alien news. Ramping means gaining more sun every turn than you should. Using sunflowers. And such. Right, now we'll start doing this. I guess the cob can go either here or here, so we'll leave the middle lanes for the cob. Probably just potato on one next turn. See, there's the alien news. I'm finally being smart, mommy. Bruh! It's still two for one, we're good. So this feels like control boogaloo. Running extinction event and such. So if we double this up, we'll have 10 next turn and really nothing to do with it, so... I think we're just saving these for a little later. Should we develop one to get rid of a removal card? It'll be around for a cop cannon to be able to destroy something, but... We have two cop cannons. I think we just pass. This is a really good card against... Control Boogaloo. He's. I, I don't know what his answer to Potato Saurus. This will just. This will probably just kill him on turn 8 with the Espresso. That is definitely going on heights because it doesn't die to Alienus. Got a 5. It's not bad. Means we can combine these next turn. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Why potato sour seems to concede. That's how it goes, guys. Alright. We're three in one. Here we 
we go. This isn't the same guy, is it? We don't play the same guy twice in a row. It's, it's not what we do here on the Fry Mop channel. Oh, it is the same guy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I honestly also just feel bad for this guy. I feel really bad here. Take your star. Take your free win. He can't. He just doesn't have an answer to Potato Saurus, man. It's the same guy. Here's huge junk at the girls. Huge junk at the girls. Did I get rid of this? Is this card stupid in this deck? Alright, that seems good. And we have Chomp. Ain't that nice. Why is Ice Spore not a mushroom? That's a good point. Uh, do we play around Beam Me Up? I don't think so. God damn it! <laughs> Wait, well, you gigantic just runs Beam Me Up? It wasn't like you expecting it. Your content is very good. I love the fail comp videos a lot. Uh, thank you so much, Hunter is Real. Thanks for telling the world that you enjoy watching me fail. That's nice. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm giving you a hard time. Thank you so much for popping in with the donation. Much appreciated. Wow, using that way too early. Come on, man. That's not preventing any damage. What, what is the point of that, actually? <laughs> it doesn't give him strike through, and it doesn't... <laughs> Does he feel like it's not going to ramp if he... I don't get it. There maybe we'll see why right now. Okay, well, I guess we're about to find out why. Well, we're not putting this here, right? It doesn't really protect anything. Let's just go face. I say screw it. Roar! I should have gone here. Wow. Maybe I should run onion rings in this deck. Bruh! Well, we still gain card advantage from this. That's fine. Could you not play Mug, please? Por favor. Onion ring. Oh, wow, with the twin sunflower, the onion ring's actually just getting even better. Don't play Mug! You thug. It's Mug, beam me up, Pogos, and one. Mug here, beam me up here, Pogos, and one. Honestly, I like this play. It means these two cards get nerfed, but everything else grows. Do it. Thanks, Potato Saurus. Maybe I should have ran the onion rings like the original deck list from Bamboo. Yeah, it still has 4 4 stats, get right. We're getting low on health. We also have something on the board which is benefiting from that, so I guess that's okay. This has a base of 4-4, four, four, so this will be like 6-6 six, six just right here. It's not a bad play. Just all of a sudden became an onion ring stick. So we either have 6. I kind of want to kill this and chomp this one. That's what my gut tells me. You can go four and two. It's not bad. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh! Sugar! Didn't play around. Excavator. He'll probably do that now in, uh, in three. That's rough. We're taking so much damage. Bruh. Uh, I don't know. Scorch, maybe? Full floor, maybe? 
This is so sad. Let me play. I can't really deal with Pogo Mug and Excavator. It's pretty good against this deck. Oh. Let me cook. Fucking Cobb and still not to be able to chomp, which is so sad. I don't know what to do here. Just gonna lose. I should probably heal, right? So heal. Six, seven, like those things. going to now. It's such a good combo, man. Crazy you got the freeze environment and all those excavators. <clears throat> it's got to play on lane two, right? Uh, okay, seven health, so I guess we're okay. Okay for now. How much are we making here? Nine. Espresso does 14 something. <laughs> Bro, why? <laughs> Let me cook. It's probably just another bounce, so the espresso is not that good here. Six and three, maybe? I'll do it like this. We're just kind of stalling right now. <clears throat> it's not a bad point. But, 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 bounce a plant. He'll be probably reluctant to bounce the uh, catch-up mechanics. Just lets me heal more. That's good. There's one. Makes the cop kill us next turn, I guess. Just trying to hold on for dear life here. We have ten. The seven attack is probably as good of a espresso as we're gonna get. I guess not anymore. <laughs> three gravestones. So it could be four, two, three, maybe. He probably is bouncing several things here. That's so sad. So we have six and four, three, uh, it's not looking really good for us right now. Seven, is playing this right now worth it though to heal a little bit and get a third card on the board? Maybe it is. I'm gonna go with my gut, which is like you. And you. Ramps a little more, same stance. That's so far so good, no bounces. And that can't be a pogo, it could be third excavator, would be ridiculous here. Uh, the anti ramp, where did he get this from? He got third excavator with this combo, man. That's like the game, he can't freeze at least. So we're taking. Oh, this dies though. Why did he not freeze this one and keep this anti ramp card alive? Instead, he valued the 4 1. This makes sense to me. We are making espresso amount of money right now. Very treasure. Very treasure. What is this guy running? What is this deck? He's running this, freeze. He's running very treasure. He got coffee zombie from from Frosty Mustache. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Now I'm looking for lethal all of a sudden. Um, this will do 14. Uh, 
kind of paranoid right now. We need a leap. We need a leap. We can go three and eight. It's not bad. It's pretty good. <laughs> Quick 14 damage to his face. Now he kind of needs to like get guy or add two damage somehow in order to be saved. Gets bonus attack? Oh no. All right, well, if he blocks, first of all, he has to block. Second of all, he has to get Guy. Nothing else will do. Don't get Guy. Yes. Yes, we won. Wow. That was pretty greedy to go here for the win and expect to get your dude. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know how we beat that, but we got him. We'll take it. Yes, four and one. <laughs> the bets are six and two, right? Oh. We lost that first game, but it's been going just... Man, I, I kind of want to run the onion rings now, not going to lie. We do need a cutoff five. It makes these cards so freaking good. You know what? Let's find room for onion rings. Screw it. Let's unbrick this deck a little bit. The onion rings <laughs> was massive. Is this right now? Looks really good. I, I like it. The other thing it does is it makes the base of your magnifying grasses. Makes it base 4-4. Four, four, which is very cool. Is getting rid of some of this late game better now and adding in more rent maybe? Like this becomes less... This is so good though. Even at 4-4 four, four, this card's fine. Alright. I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was tense. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're actually running onion rings now. I shouldn't have thought that I knew better, you know? Oh no, that didn't do it. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see if I can find this on the deck list here. I think I need to make a new folder for my deck list. I definitely do. Alright. One sec. This is not her. I'm just changing the deck list. Attempting to make it work. Hello, deck list! There. Now it's beautiful. Uh, ow. Honestly, I'm gonna Scorch here. We can't take all this damage. No way. Really good for us, the Infinity Clones, go, both going on ground. This should have probably gone on Heights Player on Scorch, but... Oh well. Oh well for this dude. Are the Onion Rings good? They don't feel good anymore. <laughs> oh no. Should I play this? Catch a mechanic? Am I stupid? Oh, if we do this here, then he probably doesn't draw a card. It's a good compromise. It just means I'm kind of committing to lane 2 next turn. Which is fine. I'll kill this and chomp something else. Yoink! Maybe I'll just go double catch up here. Should play this first. Uh, ow! Oh my gosh. Too strong, man. What? Wh why? Why? 
Why is he playing this? Did he miss? No, 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 no. Is he running Excavator and he wants to... But why in this lane over here? I don't understand that at all, man. That was wild. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna remove it, probably, but... What is his deal? What actually is his deal? Okay, well, <laughs> these are about to... <laughs> these are about to get spicy, spicy, spicy. We are going to heal back the, most of the missing health, actually. <laughs> we went from 7, and now we're going to be 8 more health. 15. That's ridiculous. This draws him cards, so this is a pretty worthy chump. Always chump after, of course. I don't get it. Why did he play the graveyard? He got another one from his Quasar? I can't deal with two sets of Infinity Clones in one game. That's not fair. <laughs> Kinda wish I saved the catch a mechanic for this board. Nah, it's all good. Gotta kill the same commander, can't have him refreshing too much. We got rid of all of our small cards, these onion rings are so brick right now. <laughs> We're healed! Tato's back up to 7-7, seven, seven, the way it should be. Okay... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't really know what I'm doing in this game anymore. We're setting it up, guys. There's this. Does Espresso just win? <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> That's 24 damage. Honestly, Potato Espresso is popping off. It was turn six. We ran for two. This deck is so simple. There's no, there's no reason to overcomplicate it with magnifying grasses. All right. I think the Onion Rings four is, is, is three is a little bit brick. We're going to get rid of one, which does make these less of a liability. And then we're going to run, like, one more... I don't know. <laughs> Were the ice spores good? I have no freaking clue. Let's just run uh, Captain Cucumber. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Try Hard, rating with 37. Thank you, my friend. Good old Try Hard. Good old Try Hard. Classic trier. I don't know what I'm saying. Guys, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I don't even know if I'm saying anything. I should become a rapper as soon as possible. Okay, guys, random thought. So, I watched this video that Mr. Mr. Beast just put out. I don't watch his videos very often, but this one intrigued me. It was... The title of the video was I was in solitary confinement for seven days straight. And he was. And it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> I kind of like the two late game cards here with the two early game cards. He literally went into solitary confinement for seven days and almost lost his mind. He wasn't just in solitary confinement, but he was in just a white room, like with bright fluorescent white lights with like no stimulation and he had to find a way like to just occupy himself for seven days and deal with the boredom and deal with the lack of stimulation and it was crazy man anyway i feel like if i was if i for some reason found myself needing to spend seven days in solitary confinement i would i would <laughs> i would probably schedule my day out one hour at a time and like make sure my whole day is filled with something there's something to do and a lot of it would just be writing music like writing raps and learning teaching myself actually how to rap because i don't know how to at all or like writing music like learning songs like taking songs are no very difficult you know difficult to sing songs and actually like trying to like learn it and like i would do that for an hour and then for an hour i would i would exercise i would say listen i'm doing push-ups sit-ups then for an hour i would i don't know theory craft random pvz heroes decks and that do that for an hour every day and just like find things to occupy my brain with in the meantime he would spend his time trying to count to like five thousand or something i was just like and it's a very different existence i guess my point is I think life is a very different existence when you're a nerd like I am. Because... What am I doing here? Let me figure out this play. 
think it's like this. I could have just onion ringed there, but... When you're a nerd, your your time anyway during your day is always occupied through intellectual pursuits. Now, I'm also an extrovert, so it would be so freaking lonely, and that would be probably the hardest part of it for me. But, like... I don't know. I feel like <laughs> the whole key to it would be intellectual pursuits. I think that would be a lot harder for someone who's not a nerd. I, I don't know if Mr. Beast is a nerd. I don't know. I don't know what's real. I don't know anything. It would be a lot harder, though. Should I play this here? This looks pretty good. It's a lot harder if you're not a nerd, because then you're just... You need to actually do stuff. You need to go... I don't know what Mr. Beast does for five. I think he's just a workaholic. I don't know why he didn't get work done and think of video ideas. While he was in solitary confinement, he could spend the whole day... He had a, you know, a little notepad with a pencil. Why not spend the whole day, like, writing down in video ideas and trying to figure that out? That'll, that'll keep him busy. That's what he does anyway. I don't know. <laughs> I begin to wonder if any part of that video is not legit. How would I know? Al? Wow, I didn't... <sighs> Should I cob cannon this lane? Is that stupid? Actually, it's really not a bad cob cannon at this point. I think I'm gonna go for it. It's a really high value cob cannon. In fact, it's 30, 15 down. Actually, it could be lethal even. Let's see what happens when we spend a whole... Our whole life. This goes down to zero, so this lives. It opens up seven damage here. We we could actually, if we roll well, just win right now. And our Rotobiga doesn't die. He gets free teleports for life, but... Oh. Honestly, though, I think now the Espresso basically wins. We'll have to play Gravestones in one and three in order to just survive here. I could Espresso the Rotobay. Oh, wait, do we have... Oh, we don't have Espresso. It's one more turn. Oh. I want Espresso Rotopega. That's my life goal. I think it's just Onion Rings this turn, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's just Onion Rings. Nothing else to do. This is probably a deadly imp. It's probably deadly loudmouth. It's <laughs> close enough. <laughs> Deadly bomb, because six damage is not enough to kill the almighty potato, man. So we're, we got four damage just from lane two. That does not help at all. Unless he can leap it or something. He needs more than two health because of the Rotovega. So he doesn't just die in lane three, man. <laughs> I don't think he thought that through. No. Wait, no, not that one. He could have actually lived this turn if he got the Rotovega. <laughs> Oh, I guess the road of beginning with this too, in lane one. So yeah, that four damage would have killed him. Also, he actually had deadly explosion. How sad. But at least play the brain vendor in four, and then K explosion the cob cannon, bro. Uh, we still do four and then two. Yeah, there's really no way out of that for them. All right, and we're six. <laughs> Remember y'all panic. Remember y'all. <laughs> I say that. I say it. To, I, I, everyone who comes to me and says I told you so, I think you're a total living nerd emoji, and I hate it. And why would you do that? But every <laughs> you guys panic after we learn day one, and we end up winning the bets. I always say I told you so, guys. I freaking told you so. We did it. Woohoo! Six and one. We're going for the seven and one. The stack is good. The stack is really. We got whooped by Trickster Atsy, and that's it, man. <laughs> Honestly, I would not be keeping the starting hand if there was any fries on the line, but the bets are already settled. So, congrats to you guys who voted yes and actually believed. I'm like, you heathens. It's a 50 50 split bet, too. 51% voted yes, 49 was no. <laughs> I 
I don't know why I love saying screw you to the no voters. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. The answer is yes already. You guys. The deadly exploding fruitcake, a rare sighting. He didn't even utilize it for the deadly. Uh, Al? Just don't be something dumb like Raptor play. Oh my god. That might actually be worse. <laughs> Watch him laser base me now. Turn to space time laser base. Oh. Oh. That hurts that he actually had something to use there. What am I? Okay. Okay. That's actually probably worse than laser base. Because I'm still only getting five. I, well, the block at least. <laughs> yeah, we're doing that next turn. I made it look extra sad, too. Probably just... In my hand, get wrecked. <laughs> nice brain vendor. Uh, yeah. Looking good. I don't think he's gonna have anything here. Yeah, at this point, the extra brains are kind of bricked because he's making all these extra brains, but it only has two cards. So, unless he has two mechasaurs in his hand, he's really not gonna have a whole lot to spend that on. And we have the answer to one mechasaur. Oh, I'm highly motivated to cob can in here. <sighs> Shall we potato? Cob in one is awfully good. Potato is also good, though. Potato could also give us another card to play. I'm gonna go with my gut and do the potato. Because this one damage coming in is not a big deal. <laughs> Arthur Flex. I'm supposed to feel bad for you that you're trying to snipe and you're not able to. Come on, man. Maybe I should just be more empathetic. the pathetic and empathetic now here's the situation guys <laughs> here's what's up is there a way to actually get away with not Espresso Fiesta in lane one wins the freaking game but at the end of the day I mean if I'm between me and you guys there's gonna be no better opportunity ever 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 to to win with some cheese right now I think we're going for the BM value, guys. <laughs> At the end of the day, what fun would that be? We've already won with that. We gotta do the combo. <laughs> this is very important. We're not gonna ramp up to... What, what, what turn was this? This was uh, 9, so we'll be down to 8 this next turn. <laughs> we're going, I think we're going this a little bit of a different direction here. Maybe I should have saved that and stalled even more, though. Probably should have saved the mag. I think as long as we... Oh, I forgot it. God damn it! So stupid. <laughs> so BM at this point, though. Oh, another cop cannon. Here comes Mechasaur number two. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Go! Please not teleport Mechasaur. Sifu play. Yeah, we're good. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a good way to end it, man. Guy 7 and 1! This deck picks some tushy. Thank you to Bamboo and everyone else who sends in deck ideas. This worked great. This worked fan freaking fantastic. Oh yeah, here's the updated deck list for anyone who skips to the end of the video and wants to see the final thing. There it is. 
All right, guys, that was the all-out ramp to Magspresso. Man, that worked like a charm. I think the Potato Saurus has popped up, and I really do want to make more decks with Potato Saurus, so I think double, double time mission accomplished. Hell yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.